Hey everyone, good afternoon, good afternoon. Another day and here we are. So I got up today, I had a little bit of anxiety. It was like, well, I could either sit here and stew in it, which doesn't sound very productive or fun, or I could get up and start my day and start doing stuff, you know, keep my mind busy. So I decided to get my butt up, go on a walk, come out here, sit on the swing. And, you know, it just, again, it's nice to know that even though there are stressors sometimes around, that the world is still good. There's still good out here. Although you guys always hear me saying, welcome to the apocalypse. That's just people getting their karma. They're getting back what they deserve. They're reaping what they so you know so for people who have nothing to worry about i mean we all have something to worry about but we're still walking on this earth there's still time to change every day we wake up we can make a conscious choice of what we want to do with our mind with our day because what you think about often you project and create or you look for it. Yep, oh yeah, I expected that to happen. So you're always expecting a negative result. Guess what? If you do that, you're probably going to keep getting negative results because you keep putting it out there. So it's constant renewing of one's mind. And I'm really trying to work on that daily, renewing my mind. You know, we we're, we're never know enough we will never know everything and that's okay we're not meant to some people spend their whole life chasing things like knowledge or money and these things never mind i'm about to go off on a real spiritual rant out here and that wasn't where I was going with this video. Although God is good all the time. God is good. So there, there's no denying that. Um, but I was talking about anxiety and how when I woke up, I had some anxiety and I had to make a choice, a conscious choice this morning. And because I'm continuously renewing my mind and trying to do better, I'm taking steps to make these things happen. Now, I think I'm moving a little slow. I'd like to move a little faster, but I'm having problems overcoming my fear. I don't even know why I have the fear or what I'm fully fearful of, but I've been afraid to make decisions out of fear of making the wrong decision or not trusting my own judgment or my gut. See. And you really got to make sure when you do things that you do them from a right place, from the right part of you in your soul, you know, you got to be made ready in your soul, in your spirit, you know. Um, it's a conscious decision every day to do something a little different than I was because I realized the things I was doing before temporarily because I have made good decisions in my life, but lately I haven't made the best ones. I have stopped making decisions because of fear and I got to stop doing that. So I'm playing this in my mind, like, okay, how do we fix this? Well, what do I want to see happen different tomorrow? I don't expect I'm going to go from one extreme to another, but little baby steps. As long as you're continually making progress and you're not giving up, there's still time and there's still hope. So for those of us here, there's still hope because we woke up today. Am I saying all of us are happy about it? No, but I believe we're going to be stuck here on Earth School until we do learn our lessons or else you're just going to keep repeating them over and over again. And that's not the insanity that we're living for. So we don't want that. Um, so I am out here keeping myself company by talking to you guys and recording this. 
because you guys know you're my accountability partners. I'm your hopefully somewhat accountability partner because we same we share the same soul house. Um, what is today's message? I don't know. Um, trying to do something a bit different while overcoming my anxiety. So I'm out here sharing my feelings because that's not something I do often. Uh, I keep saying, uh, because I'm stalling to speak because it's kind of embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but saying uh is not helpful. So let me catch that. So that's something to work on. That's a small project for me to work on. Stop saying that. So, so anyway, we woke up another day. It may be a great day for you. It may be a rough day for you. It may be a day you wish you were not here, or it may be the greatest day of your life. I don't know. All I know is we're still here right now together on earth, on earth school, learning our lessons and living our lives, hopefully to the best of our ability. And if you're not, that's okay because this is an opportunity because we woke up another day, right? Right. So you could keep working on it and trying to do better. Just like I could choose to wallow in depression and be like, boo hoo, poor me every day and just lay there. But I did that for a while and now it's time to get over that and move forward. Got to make sure you're not acting in your ego, which is your false beliefs, the things that are programmed in us by our family, our society, our false perceptions of, of ourselves, us not trusting our own gut instinct. And then instead, act from a true inner you, act from your soul. You know, some things you can't express physically, but you know them in your soul. Just deep down, you know, you feel that in your gut. You know, it's that gut. And then it's that instinct that kicks in. Trust yourself. That's today's lesson. Learn to trust yourself. See, a lot of us don't always fully know ourselves. We're still learning. So it's hard to trust someone fully that you don't really know. So know thyself has always been my message overall. But trust yourself. You know, trust yourself. Learn to do that. So, yeah, today I am just contemplative. I'm just thinking, processing, and then saying, okay, great. Now what? Let's move forward. Different subject all together. Did you guys hear my video, my Prophet Far Thoughts video that I made? Uh, or it's actually an audio, but I called it a video since it's on YouTube. So I don't know. Did you hear my little cipher? It was called Prophet Bar Thoughts. I made that over a year ago, but I never shared it. And then I have a friend, he's part of the Royal Priesthood. His name's Triple JC, he's really awesome. He makes really dope beats, like really dope beats. And he let me use some of them, which I was so thankful for. He's like, cause I had asked if he had anything that I could use behind some of my videos. And that's how most of my videos that you hear have music, they're from him, from Triple JC. So he came along and added to my my cipher just by being himself in his soul house because he made that music from his soul and how he was feeling at that time and they happened to line up really well with the cipher I wrote so what were the chances of that I just heard it and said this would go great with what I already had recorded so then I was like hey these would go great together. And Jamie's like, I could put those together. That's what I do. And he put them together. And I was like, wow. And then I was like, well, can we add another artist on there? Would you be able to help me with that? And he's like, yes, of course I could do that. That's what I, I do. And so he did. I asked little Da Vinci because I really like his style. Plus, I really like him. He's a nice young man. 
So I had asked him if he would, you see how excited I got? Cause I love, I just love the subject and they're cool people. <coughs> and so I had asked him, Hey, will you do a cipher or will you do a beat? Will you do a something? Will you say something or rap something or whatever? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I got so excited. I lost my, my words. I asked him, hey, I made, I made this cipher. I got some music behind it. Here, listen to it. Here's the words. Can you add to this? And he and, and then I and then he just added what he did, which was amazing. So I was like, perfect. So it's funny how it all came together. The three of us are all different ages. We're not even in the like Triple JC's in Australia and I'm in the USA. And Triple's out here. I mean, not Triple, excuse me. Little Da Vinci is out here as well. But how we all come from different places. We're different ages. We were brought up different, yet we still can connect. You know, I love that. See, that's operating from within, within your soul house. So when I had made my cipher, I was really coming from a heartfelt place of profit, you know, which is a homophone because there's profit for money, financial profit, monetary profit. And then there's a profit, a person who speaks, you know, prophecy. And, and so I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that other than did you guys hear it? What did you think? What was your opinion? It's the first thing I've ever done. So I'm not a professional, but I think overall it came for me not being a, a professional on, on that end, that it came out pretty decent. So I'd love to hear people's opinions because that'll help me determine how to kind of move forward from here on, like what I should work on, what works. Although you guys can't make the decision for me, ultimately I have to, you know, come from within and do that. But if we're on the same wavelength, maybe you guys have some ideas and stuff that could help me, you know, help me. I'm embarrassed asking for help, so I'm stuttering. So I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I have some stuff I got to get done this afternoon, and I will definitely probably maybe uh, I went all the way around I was gonna say I'm gonna be back on today but I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure but you never know with me I'm kind of random with things all right you guys trust yourself know thyself love thyself be in the moment don't forget that time passes by but you know you could only have this moment right now so take it for what it is do some internal soul, soul searching and find your true knowledge yourself. All right, y'all. I love you. You guys already know that, though. Welcome to the apocalypse. <laughs> Peace.